This bag didn't do it. I'm getting rid of it. I can't travel with this. Roland, I don't know what y'all were thinking. What's up guys? So I wanna do a gigging musicians review of this bag that I got. It is the Roland, Ooh, let me grab it, here we go. The Roland CBRU10 Utility Gig Backpack. Okay, this is what it looks like. So I wanna do this really quick. Here's some of the features. It's got some plush slots for a mini keyboard or a synth on this side. This is this plush lining material for a laptop over here on this side. It's got a rugged exterior, uh, thick cushioning. It's really nice. Over 10 internal and external areas for stowing various accessories. There's a pocket over here. Several check pouches on the inside over here on this side and on the side. Let's see that right there. It's got a front pocket just like that. It holds your laptop or your iPad and then uh, another extra little pocket right in front of that. It fits on a luggage handle, which is pretty cool. So this compartment right here, this pulls out. Bam, this pulls out. Okay, so you can fit your luggage handle right there. Really breathable mesh right here. Uh, it's got a sturdy handle. Uh, it's got multiple tech pouches like I just showed you guys. It's got a deep main compartment. So this is pretty, pretty deep. I wanna say uh, practically about a foot and a half, almost two feet uh, deep, which is pretty, pretty cool. Another feature is that the side pocket expands. Okay, to put in your water bottle. It's got sternum straps, just for extra support. It's got rubber feet on the bottom to keep it off the ground. Uh, it's about 120 bucks on Reverb and Amazon. So that is this bag. You know what, I'm just gonna hold on for a little bit. Let's get straight into the pros. It does fit a small keyboard, but really um, I don't play mini keyboards or SP808s or SP88. Uh, I don't use anything like that, right? Um, but this was able to fit things like my wireless rig, my wireless receiver and all my wireless stuff, which um, I just don't want it to get knocked around too much. It fit it in here nicely. It also has uh, the flush lining for my iPad on the other side, which is awesome. I do like that the main compartment is really deep. It goes straight down. You can fit a whole lot of stuff in here. I was able to get in a bunch of cables and microphones and all sorts of stuff that I might need. One thing that I really did like, it actually did fit my mini uh, pedal rig uh, setup. Now here's the cons. It didn't fit my mini pedal rig and my wireless setup. So I'm a saxophone player and I play through pedals. I need something that has room for pedals and also has room for my wireless rig and cables. Really, when I get a bag like this, I'm not thinking about something that I necessarily carry just around town in my area. I want something that I can go on a weekend trip with, go fly out with, and then come back. And if you're a sax player like myself, or a guitar player, bass player, or whatever, um, you don't wanna check anything on a weekend trip. I don't wanna check anything. This bag didn't do it. It didn't have enough room to be able to carry my pedal board and carry my wireless rig and all this, um, whatever cables I was gonna need and uh, <laughs> any clothes, like even one change of clothes. I mean, really it didn't have room for that. Either you're gonna fit up, you're gonna fill up this compartment and it's actually just gonna close all the way like that. And it's gonna take up the entire space of the big compartment, right? It's just gonna close all like that. Now in the pictures, they make it look like this is a clamshell. They make it look like it's more like this and it opens up like a clamshell, but it's not a true clamshell. It doesn't actually go out all the way. And to be honest, like I wouldn't treat it like a clamshell because look, look at all these tech pouches. I need to be able to get to my tech if I'm on a plane and they're advertising this as being something that you can travel with, right? Because it has this luggage patch and it's got sternum straps and all that. I can't travel with this. I need the tech pouches here in the front and these pouches, they're not deep at all. Like, I mean, they're deep going down, but they don't come out at all, right? There's no room in there. This bottom one, it doesn't really expand, okay? You really can't get all the things that you want into that one bag. Now, if you are 
a producer and you do have just a couple few little things that you have to carry with you, then it's fine. But if you're a gigging musician, they call this a utility gig backpack. If you're a gigging musician, I don't think this thing is gonna work. It's significantly cheaper than a Groove Gear bag or a Daddario bag or any more high-end bags like that, but still, I just didn't work for me. So my verdict is pass. I'm gonna pass on this bag. I'm actually selling it right now. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. That's my quick little review of the Roland CB RU10 Utility Gig Backpack. Please check out this channel for more reviews uh, on other products, gig-related products. This is the Giggy Musicians Review. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.